The time has come. <laughs> the hereditary. walrus said. Yes. To talk of many things. And the many things are hereditary. This is the one we have been waiting for. This is the one that we did multiple trailer reactions to. We were totally blown away, totally psyched. It, it blew people's minds at the festival. So, without any further ado. spoiler filled review of Hereditary so if you haven't seen the movie go check it out that way all right you're back no matter which way you went you saw it so just to make sure we're all on the same page uh Tony Colletti plays a woman whose mother dies and then weird stuff starts happening to her and her daughter and her family and it goes downhill from there so we start off with likes. Go ahead. Moshe, what do you got? Why do I have to go first? You uh, go first. I will go first then. Okay. Uh, well, I really... Okay, so right, actually, uh, right off the top, we have to say that the acting in this was absolutely outstanding. All around. Extraordinary. Uh, with special mention, of course, of Tony Colletti. A absolutely unbelievable. Uh, really sold it because the sort of nature of this film requires there be a high level of acting for it to be pulled off. So uh, that's right off the bat, but then further digging a little in, I will say that I completely, utterly applaud and get ready for big spoiler, the fact that they killed the little girl in the middle of the movie after having built all of the trailers to appear to be around her. It's a brilliant move that at that point throws you and whatever thoughts you might have had as to what is going on here out the window. Uh, you well, know, Dante, let me intertwine that little thing right with? there that you like. Uh, when the little girl died, I liked it, the gore. Oh, yes, okay. Especially when we saw her severed head on the ground covered in bugs. Bugs. Everything. That was pretty cool. Bugs throughout the movie, That was pretty fact. cool. Anyone yeah. that likes gore, you That's totally appreciate that. Gore horrors unite, yes, so you did like that, okay. Um, yeah, and then uh, another thing that, that, that I do appreciate uh, with with a lot of the, the movie going these days is the slow burn. And this was, without question, a slow burn. When we get into the dislikes, we may say it's too much of a slow burn, but we're in the oh, likes. Oh, well, too late. We're now we're already nope, nope, we're still in the likes. And, yeah, I'm, well, I'm, that's a dislike, guys. That's your dislike. You just gave it away. I did not. Hey, it's a spoiler-filled review. We're spoiling our own review. So, regardless, uh, that I really appreciate the fact that they took their time, they build and build and build, and then they give the big payoff at the end. I'm so sick and tired of these, you know, Hollywood studio formulaic movies where you have to have something happen every eight minutes or so. Uh, so that I did really appreciate. Is there anything else for you? Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. I thought it was cool when uh, the mom, well, when the son woke up uh -huh. after she killed the dad. Right. Um, and the son woke up and she was in the corner, basically ah, on the wall. Yes, fucking yes. Spider-Man going on here. And then <laughs> the son turns around and then she like, just escapes so fucking quietly by Gently like crawling. Floating. Yes, yeah. God, and that, you know, I wish I could travel like that. That'd we all wish we easier. could travel like that. And that ties in, though, because that all took place at the end of the movie. That did. You know, they saved all the towards big scares the, uh, towards the end towards there. The end. Yeah, so I did uh, particularly like that. And um, I think the final thing um, that I do say that, again, I do appreciate is the fact that this movie did not spoon feed the audience uh, too many times. In modern horror movies, they have to lay everything out in the most simplistic, plain brown wrapper sort of formulaic. No opportunity for thought or discussion, just here it is and go in order to appease the general movie going public. They did not do it in this on purpose, I think, and I definitely enjoyed that. You know, I wonder, um, what's yeah. that guy called? Which guy? Thing that writes those bad horror movies. Bloom. Oh, Bloom House? Yeah. Oh, yes. I wonder if those uh, Bloom House fans will hate this movie because it's not. Ah, we're going to get into that. Yeah. We are. That'd be pretty cool. All right, it's Dislikes Time. We've already spoiled part of it, so you want to dive in uh, and join me. I guess the idea that it was too slow. Yeah, too and slow. Yeah. So. That is a very arbitrary designation. Uh, some people will say, yes, of course, it's too slow. Others will say, no. Uh, when you're doing a slow burn, it's a tightrope. It really is. Um, and, and The Witch, I think, is an example of it done absolutely perfectly. 
when you're doing the slow burn, of course your payoff is at the end, but you have to keep the audience interested. You have to keep it going. Uh, you know, the witch did that absolutely brilliantly with, with various scenes. This had the little girl getting killed. You know, oh. That was a big one. Uh, but then it did sort of lag at one point as they were just, they were, you know, kind of crawling towards the end because they had saved it all for the end. So I... I well, I concur with that. Yeah, well, I, yeah, we kind of discussed this and, yeah, I kind of... I hate to say that, but I, you know, meh. But there was another one that you said you did not I'm like. sorry, guys, but if you saw the movie, I... Of course they saw the movie. It's a spoiler review. Well, if they saw the movie and they just want to be spoiled, and then, you know, right. whatever. Fair enough. I didn't like the ending. Ah. I didn't like when he crawled in that treehouse thing, the sun, and everyone's worshipping him. Yes. That fucking... I guess, I guess there's supposed to be a blank stare on his face, and people are worshipping him, and, like... Yeah, well, he's supposed to be a demon, but he's got a blank okay. stare on his face. No, wait, he's got a blank stare on his face, and he's supposed to be a demon, and he's fucking like, what the fuck's going on? He didn't talk? What? And he's the eighth god of hell? Fuck you! There's only one <laughs> god, and that is Satan. Hell, Satan. So, okay, so calm your ass down over there. Now, you're, that was you're, really stupid. It well, was just stutters. Not necessarily stupid. I'll give you one thing without question. Okay, the entire concept is, is that they're trying to basically, you know, allow a resurrection or, or, or portal or something so that one of the, as you said, eighth lords of hell or whatever, demon for lack of a better word, can come over into our world and inhabit the body of this young boy. They are successful. Evil wins. That I love. However, you are correct. Once the evil has taken hold, the evil takes hold. Yeah. And you shouldn't be wandering around going, well, what's happening, man? What's going on? What's going on? Um, because the implication, of course, is that it's a powerful demon. It's not just like, I don't know, a baby demon or something who's all confused. No, it's a powerful, badass demon. He's trying to get to the world for some reason, so uh, he should have a pretty good idea. Uh, maybe he hasn't been here in a while, but hey, you know, it's wood. Should be familiar. Uh, yeah, I mean, you're, you had a very valid point on that. I, I'm not 100% certain the choice that they made on that and why it was made. Uh, maybe that's open to discussion. You know, maybe some people will think, well, hey, that's ridiculous, Marcia and Dante. Of course a demon would act that way as soon as they got into uh, Earth from Oh, hell. yeah? Then prove it. No? Yeah, well, hey, ooh, you throw it down the gauntlet, eh? Yeah. You put the challenge out there. Prove it. All right, so if you want to raise a demon to hell and videotape it and prove us wrong, please do so. We would really like to see that. And we encourage. We do encourage that sort of behavior. Otherwise, it was an aspect of the movie uh, that we did not like. Now, there is something that needs to be mentioned. You brought it up earlier. It can't really say it's a dislike, but it's something that it doesn't necessarily fit. Uh, anywhere else, and it's more of a um, regret, shall we say, and that is the fact that this movie was advertised and marketed in the mainstream movie plexes. I know, right? Um, to the mainstream audiences. Yeah. And Boom House audience. Uh, yeah, yeah, to Boom House audience. And they are going to hate this. They are. They are absolutely good. They're going to walk out. It's going to be an utter disaster. Or oh, we might be wrong. No, we're not going to be wrong. Uh, uh, where when we saw it. There were people behind us. The second the movie ended, it was rumblings of stupidest movie I ever saw. They said that? Yes. Oh, I, uh, I always see bad, shitty movies in this theater. I, crap like that. <laughs> um, again, you know, for true horror fans, which hopefully on the channel, you are true horror fans, this is a movie for you. Go check it out. Um, you know, right, for Boomhouse fans, it's going to be a walkout. And I say that's a regret because I know A24, I know she's got tons of money, but really, you know, these are not made as a charity product product project I really need them to succeed I really need them to make more and more and more of these you know the witch was a pleasant surprise supplies um, and a surprise too <laughs> so I, I, I would hope that this would be the same but I'm I'm 100% confident it's not it's it, it just does not lend itself towards the the regular Joe yeah, who cares? audience leave Blue you know who people. cares Screw off. The, the people who are paying the bills care that's why I say it's a little bit of a regret Pinhead time! Ha <laughs> ha I am dying, dying to know. Pinhead time. That's right, pinhead time. Don't, 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 no. So what, how many no, pinheads are no. you going to give it? Hereditary. I ask you the same question. I asked you first. Okay. Go. I'm going to give it yes. 4.5. Whoa, that is very high I would give it a 5. Yes. But, but the ending sucked. Oh, ouch. So 4.5. Burn. Okay. everything else was great. Okay, all right, very good. Um, well, you know, we heard the dislikes and the likes as well. Um, I'm very similar to you. I did like the ending, however. Um, my gripes were enough, though, for me to kind of, I was thinking I was going to knock it down to about four pinheads. Uh, 
But you know, in retrospect, and obviously because we don't have a little graphic for a quarter, I'm gonna up it myself and go 4.5 pinheads you also. Hey, is that a copycat? It's just that we don't have that graphic. So, regardless, your 4.5, my 4.5, that's gonna make this a 4.5 pinhead movie. So what do you guys think? Definitely go check out that movie. And please like, comment, subscribe to this channel. And of course, Dante, any last remarks? Mm. That's what I thought.